What's up guys, welcome back to the Field Studio. So, like you should know by now, I'm a guitar player and I'm into electronic building and DIY stuff. So recently I've came out with the idea of building my own stun box. Well, I've been doing this for, for years now, but uh, it was a prototype and cheap stuff that wasn't really a finished product and because of all those Facebook groups um, I find myself to learn a lot and I decided to dive in and I bought my first uh, enclosure and I bought like some triple pole uh, triple throw triple throw uh, triple triple pole triple throw <laughs> triple pole triple throw foot switch and uh, I came up with a uh, this is the simplest circuit this is just to test a circuit on the breadboard I'm gonna show you how it works enjoy okay great so I think that everyone who is into electronic and um, DIY stump boxes will understand how I feel uh, since I'm designing my own circuit and I'm not buying a kit I need to test a circuit and experiment on a breadboard before I mount it on a well prototype board so some of you will think I'm pretty smart or just really crazy since each time I was testing a circuit I was plugging my tip to an alligator clip then the other end of the alligator clip was plugged to a little link like that I was plugging it and then just connecting it to the input of my circuit and then plugging this jack to my guitar and for the output the same business was going on I was plugging a little connector like that with another so I, I end up with a mess like four alligator clips plus two alligator clip for for my my supply and it was shit to work with so I ended up with something that I think everyone has right now but uh, I'm pretty proud of it since I've been working on circuit and guitar stuff for years and I never took the time to build it properly but now it's done so I'm pretty happy with it so I'm gonna show you uh, mainly what I did so like I say all the time I'm gonna open the box for you guys so basically this is a um, an enclosure uh, aluminium aluminium enclosure 1590B uh, which is pretty small but pretty standard depending on what you're building and um, yeah it costs me uh, four bucks so uh, Canadian dollar you know uh, inexpensive money Uh, okay, so basically what I wanted to achieve is get rid of all these alligator clip and shit I don't want to see. Okay, so basically what I wanted was uh, a more stable design. So here I have my my input which uh, goes run into that triple throw, triple, triple pole, triple throw switch and I have a bypass. It's a true bypass so uh, when it's unactivated it just run to the output of the circuit so this is plugged into my amplifier and when I push the effect it runs into a 100k volume control it I was not obligated to do that volume control but I thought it would I thought it would be cool to just have uh, some control more control so if my gain is too loud or if I'm using those active pickup on a bass sometimes the volume is just so loud I need to put it down a little bit more so basically when I activate the switch it runs into the potentiometer and then to the out the 
well the output of my ser of my pedal so I plug it into the input of my stuff this is a ground connection so everything is ground together all connection and the circuit are grounded my signal is grounded so no noise no shit and this is the return so it's like a sand return to the effect but I will use it as a um, as a test stun box to test all my breadboard stuff so that's mainly as simple as it is so I hope it inspired some of you guys and for those who did that like hundred of years ago uh, sorry to bother you with that but it's just such a nice idea thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe my channel since there is gonna be a load of good video coming soon about power supply and stuff so if you missed season 1 and season 2 well just take a look you will like it see ya